Welcome to Main Street Living. This program offers you the opportunity to participate in a worship service led by pastors and congregations of the Lutheran Church, Missouri Senate from your surrounding area. On today's program... They were given the name by angels carrying out God's orders. And the name of Jesus really did fit what the newborn would do for his people. Jesus, after all, means Savior. And that is exactly what he would do. He would save his people. The fact is, men needed a Savior. The service will begin after this opening hymn. Good morning. 
I'm Pastor Dan Bremer from Grace Lutheran Church in Grand Island, Nebraska. We begin our service in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, God, who is faithful and just, will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Let us then confess our sins to God, our Father. Most merciful God, we confess that we are by nature sinful and unclean. We have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We justly deserve your present and eternal punishment. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. Forgive us, renew us, and lead us, so that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. To the glory of your holy name. Amen. In the mercy of Almighty God, Jesus Christ was given to die for us, and for his sake God forgives us all our sins. To those who believe in Jesus Christ, he gives the power to become the children of God and bestows on them the Holy Spirit. May the Lord, who has begun this good work in us, bring it to completion in the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Our Old Testament reading is written in Numbers chapter 6, verses 22 to 27. The Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to Aaron and his sons, saying, Thus you shall bless the people of Israel. You shall say to them, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. So shall they put my name upon the people of Israel, and I will bless them. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our epistle lesson is written in Galatians chapter 3, verses 23 to 29. Now before faith came, we were held captive under the law, imprisoned until the coming faith would be revealed. So then the law was our guardian until Christ came, in order that we might be justified by faith. But now that faith has come, we are no longer under a guardian, for in Christ Jesus, you are all sons of God through faith. For as many of you as were baptized into Christ have put on Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither slave nor free. There is neither male nor female. For you are all one in Christ Jesus. And if you are Christ, then you are Abraham's offspring, heirs according to promise. This is is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
The Holy Gospel comes to us from the Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 2, verse 21. And at the end of eight days, when he was circumcised, he was called Jesus, the name given by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. We now confess our Christian faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. The text for my message today is our gospel reading from Luke chapter 2, verse 21. Dear friends in Christ, today we consider God's name as we celebrate the naming of Jesus. This is a festival connected with the circumcision of Jesus. It was God's command for the Israelites that they circumcise their boys after eight days. I I know that tomorrow we'll celebrate it, but today is New Year's Eve, a day away. Well, Jesus' name was a special choice. It was communicated as the chosen name for the child both to Joseph and to Mary by angels. The angel Gabriel said to Mary, in fact, As reported in Luke chapter 1, you will be with child and give birth to a son and you are to give him the name Jesus. So also Joseph hears from an angel these words. She will give birth to a son and you are to give him the name Jesus because he will save his people from their sins. The child was to be named Jesus for a reason. 
That is because he would save his people from their sins. Both Mary and Joseph were given the name of the child. Today we have some couples who must work hard to agree on names for their children. She wants one name and he wants another. There is no established authority. But in the case of Mary and Joseph, there was no argument. They agreed his name is Jesus. The meaning of the name is spelled out for Joseph in his angel visit. The name was chosen because he would save his people from their sins. The child was named Jesus because that reflected what he would do with his life. Actually, his death as well. While Jesus was a popular name back then, and in many cultures still is, there is something different about the name Jesus as given to Joseph and Mary's child. They were given the name by angels carrying out God's orders. And the name of Jesus really did fit what the newborn would do for his people. Jesus, after all, means Savior. And that is exactly what he would do. He would save his people. The fact is, man needed a savior. Man, sinful from the time of his conception, had no way to say to himself that he could be saved. It was impossible. Indeed, we needed a savior. One who would live for us. One, would, one who would keep the law for us and one who would die our death. Jesus, he did all this. He followed the will of God perfectly on our behalf. He suffered the penalty for our sin, dying on the cross for each of us. William Barclay once said, it is no accident that our Lord was called by the name Jesus. That name sums up the things which he came into the world to do and which only he can do. He came to be the divine rescuer, who alone can deliver men from the consequences and from the grip of sin. He came to be the divine physician, who alone can bring healing to the bodies and souls of men. This name of Jesus is for us a special holy name. It is majestic in all the earth, as the Psalm said, for it is the name of the Savior. It is the name above every name because of the wonderful thing that the one with the name has done for us. Jesus' name is his reputation, and his reputation is one who saves. At the coming judgment, every knee will bow at the name of Jesus. Every knee in heaven, on earth, and under the earth. Some will bow in submission as they are judged and sentenced to hell. Others who hold the name of Jesus as the name of their Savior will bow in worship and awe before the one who is their Savior. Friends, many today believe that there are multiple paths to heaven. Religion, teachings, and confession really don't matter, they say. Jesus is not the only way to be saved, they teach. These people are sadly mistaken. For God's word clearly teaches, teaches us that there is only one way to salvation, and that is through the one named Jesus. So let us praise that name. Let us praise the name by believing in the name. Let us remember the name that gives us justification and life. Let us speak and teach in the name of Jesus. Let us call upon the name of Jesus. We begin this new year penitent over our sins of the last year and recognizing our fallen state. We also begin the year with joy over the salvation that is ours. Rejoicing and with thanksgiving, we embrace, we grab hold of, and we jump into the new year. This year will be for us another year of grace, another year in which we will have the gifts of the Lord that we hold, in which we will, he will share with us grace with even more gifts, gifts that come in the preaching of the word of God, gifts that come in the sacraments of holy baptism and the Lord's Supper, 
These are constant reminders of what we have in the name of Jesus for these means of grace. Give to us the forgiveness of sins, life, and salvation that come to us in Jesus. Psalm 124 expresses all we have said in a few words when it says, Our help is in the name of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, he saves and we find our help. This name was chosen by God and given through the angel to Joseph and Mary to give to their newborn son. That son was circumcised and named Jesus and went on to live a perfect life and went on to die for all our sins. As we enter the new year, we remember our help, our help which comes in the name of Jesus. Amen. And now the peace of God which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Let us pray the prayer Jesus has taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And receive now the benediction of our Lord. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with his favor and give you peace. Amen. Thank you for viewing Main Street Living this morning. We hope, our hope is that you have been blessed and encouraged by this presentation. If you are able to attend local services, I would like to invite you to worship with our congregation. If you are in the Grand Island, Nebraska area, please join us at, at Grace Lutheran Church on Sunday mornings at 9 a.m. or at Saturday evening at 7 p.m. 
This broadcast is supported by viewers like you and their financial help allows this broadcast to continue. You can join us by sending a contribution of any amount to this address. For more information about this program, it can be found at MainStreetLiving.com, including links to other LCMS websites, congregational locations, and additional ways to donate. Thank you again for joining us today, and have a blessed week. We hope to see you again at the same time next Sunday on this same station. Thank you.